what, what the lady is talking about. What's up, family? A man was fatally shot on a train in Ronkonkoma on an early morning commute on Wednesday. Dude walked up to him as he was walking off the train. He's getting ready to get off the train. Dude walking right behind him, put the gun to his head and plow. Just downed him. Initially, when I saw it, it looks like a random act of violence or perhaps a hit, right? A lot of people thought it was a random act, you know, because there's a lot of crazy people out there. But I was like, there's gotta be more to this story. So I went to digging and I found out that these guys actually knew each other. They were together on the train. So police don't know why dude gunned down his associate, but he did talking cold blood. The shot was fired around 1.45 a.m. on the 1.50 a.m. train to Penn Station. Someone called 911 to report the shooting. Witnesses reported seeing a man in a hoodie running from the scene following the shooting. The two people involved, the shooter and the victim, appear to have been traveling together and they appear to have known each other. Suffolk County Police Detective Lieutenant Kevin Breyer said, I'd like to stress this is not a random event. No other passengers were in danger. There were only two or three other passengers on the train. They were not in danger. This appears to be an isolated event. It does not appear to have any connection to any other incidents in the past. The victim identified as 20-year-old Yusuf Stained was pronounced dead on arrival to the hospital. A coach said he remembered Yusuf as loving basketball, being coachable, and having a good work ethic. The coach said he recalled that Yusuf returned to New York after his sophomore year. The shooting happened while the train was in Ronkonkoma Station and had not left for his scheduled trip to Penn Station in New York City. Talk about watching the company you keep. Dude, never saw it coming. I mean, never saw it coming. And I'm gonna tell you something, fam. I know a whole lot of people who were killed by their friends or so-called friends or associates. It's the people that you let closest to you who oftentimes do you the most harm. This is why, this is why racist, they're pathetic to me. Because I know for a fact, most of us, our harshest feelings about life and about people, about the world, it was instilled in us by the people who we knew best, the people who had the most access to us, the people who we grew up around, oftentimes our own mother and father. Beyond that, our schoolmates, people in our neighborhood, the people we date, siblings, uncles and aunts, cousins, grandma, best friends. These are the people that really bring more misery to us directly than anybody. But we will fix our little peewee brains to be mad at people that we don't even know. Ain't that something? It's the people that's right next to you. How many times you watch these Snapped shows? You know, I hadn't watched one of those shows in a long time, but Snapped and what they call that, uh, Fatal Attraction and 
uh, it's another one that I used to watch all the time. I used to watch Forensic Files. Oh, man, that Forensic Files, man. Look, if you got something to do, do not watch one episode of Forensic Files because the way they set it up, when the show ends, you don't even know they already started another show because they make the transition so smooth. It's like they'll have another show going while the credit is rolling. And you write that next thing, you know, man, you done knocked down 10 hours straight watching Forensic Files, just laying up, watching TV, eating and snacking. Ah oh, man, you got to get off that man. Don't watch, don't watch forensic files. Yeah, and you know they got those forensic files. Got the quick shows. They like thirty minute shows, easy to keep up with. You know, really easy to come keep up with. And another one of those shows. Oh yeah, 48, 48 hours. Over half the cases, it be people that you know. Well, shit, ninety percent of the cases are people that the dead person knew personally and usually had a relationship with. You really do have to watch the company you keep. R.I.P. to you sustained. No more talk. What, what the talking about?